Okay, just again, getting knocked out three videos yesterday. You know, I invented the Cobra driver, I can do this. To the former individuals of Battleborn, those who played and now play Overwatch. Hmm. Well, people, I'm more than certain you're probably expecting a WWE 2K17 report, review, or maybe some footage from us, which I would have loved to have done if they had stayed supplied where I am. It's a little shocking, kind of disappointing, and things like that. Because this isn't a scenario of like being unprepared for a brand new title or or something that doesn't come around every year you know, this is this is one of those consistencies in life that we have that we all embrace we enjoy and we go from there um, and yet the stores I frequent do not have any copies at the moment. They're all sold out. Which, I mean, on one end is great. You know, that means, hey, yeah, the demand is still there. But to underestimate the demand is kind of shocking. I mean, I know for a few years now, wrestling hasn't been where it was back in the day. So maybe investing in wrestling games may not be at the forefront of people's minds. I mean, every venture goes through that slump for a little while. After the death of Superman and return of Superman, fans felt kind of cheated, so they, you know, they backed off a little bit, so on and so forth. I mean, everyone, everyone goes through it. I was really hoping to just have something, like a little snip. Something to to keep your keep your appetite up. So I was hoping to do like a, a series of these. You know what? I can make this work. I taught that Klutz Ricky Starks how to run ropes. I can do this. You know what? Yeah. Because that isn't the only game in town. In fact, I think I might know the perfect gateway to get someone interested in this game. Yeah. This is going to be the first and probably a series of gateways. Means of getting individuals introduced. And this one even falls into Comictober with how outrageous it is. This is WrestleMania, the arcade game. This one actually came out on multiple systems. Came out on Super Nintendo. Came out on Sega Genesis. Both had their own thing about them that made it more identifiable. Uh, Genesis could show the entire 
roster, and even some of the effects from the actual arcade game. Super Nintendo had the music. Both. Up there. Until the end of time will spark and end debates. Like that. I've seen it. I'm talking about the PS1 port. Damn near verbatim. A good way to get your son, your daughter, your niece, or your nephew to calm the hell down in between. Because you got something for them. There is over the top violence, but it's done in a cartoon fashion. You can actually rake someone's eyes out of their head, but there'll be a collection of eyeballs bouncing around the ring. It's great. Some of the cracking of bones and screams seem almost out of place. They have that... that... exaggeration about them. It makes it so splendid. It just puts a smile on your face thinking about it. This was back also when it was still WWF. So that itself surprisingly... I don't know why it isn't more of a collector's item. Because the name change. And the list, the list, is one of the better lists. The roster, it's got The Undertaker, but it has the original, eerie Undertaker. He's not quite Ministry of Darkness, and he certainly isn't a biker. He doesn't have that, that underplayed cowboy tone he does now. We're talking the tie. The gloves. Those big, thick boots he used to wear. It's all there. The shag hair in the face. They got Yokozuna. Yeah. Those who don't know, Yokozuna. A Samoan portraying a, su a Japanese sumo wrestler managed by Mr. Fuji. Well, he's in the game. He's a big boy. He moves like a big boy. hits like a big boy. I mean, they were able to capture this just right. It was, it was done in that great live-action Mortal Kombat style. Which means they actually got Reza Ramon himself to... Show up, Chico. He flicks a toothpick at you as a taunt. It's great. He does his does his chop. His arm looks like a razor blade. He has this great attack where he'll shake you like a rug, literally grab you by the ankles and beat you on the floor. And you even hear his voice capture. Nobody messes with the bad guy. It's wonderful. The Undertaker hits you with tombstones. Lex Luger, with that giant pl metal plate in his arm, his whole arm goes metal. He can clobber you with it. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is in the game. Oh, yeah, and being the littlest dog in the fight, well, he carries a baseball bat. I mean, not with him, but just out of nowhere, he'll just swing with a with his super punch, and it's a bat right upside the head. Bret Hart actually executes the sharpshooter on people, and you hear this crunching of bones. It's insane. Bam Bam Bigelow. It's one of the last games where Bam Bam Bigelow was in it. Actually, himself, for his passing. I mean, that was several years later, but... This. This game right here. He does his flying headbutt, and as he comes off the top rope, he just begins to ignite in flames as he collides. The victim? Just a 
singeing hole. Just on the mat, just an impact of where Bam Bam hit. And then they cool off and they shake for a moment, and he just comes up through the mat, ready to go again. But I think who this game was really made for Doink the Clown. I know, I know, I know. Him, really, it's perfect for him. He does a seal clap, his hands expand, just throw. It's a huge collision. He kicks people in the butt, his boot just becomes ginormous. The joy buzzer. He actually does the joy buzzer. It brings so much joy to me. Singed hair, the the classic cartoonish x-ray effect. The fact it's almost an unblockable. He just slides up like he's gonna do it. And he pulls out a hammer. He has a giant mallet and can beat you with it. I mean, if I just described the attacks here, you might think I was talking about Battleborn or something else. But no. This. This fits in my world more than anything. They're outlandishly costumed. Like any, any good superhero worth their weight in salt. The attacks are relentless. So you die hard gamers when you get good and you unlock one of those 26 hit combos where the Undertaker just slides across the ring, grabs you by the throat and just won't stop choke slamming you. The best I've ever got was uh, five before he'd stop. And then some of them even have like a post-match victory pose. Because it's done like a fighting game, so it's two out of three falls. Then again, if you you know anything about Lucha, then it's like a standard wrestling match. But some of them, it's great. Dwight just jumps up. He's just laughing. Just laughing at everything around him. Razor Ramon perches up on his knees on top of you. But The Undertaker has a great one. If you refuse to pin them and just mercilessly punch them and stomp them, his hand will flare up. He puts it right in your chest and bats fly out. It's great. It's just great. Oh god. <laughs> Getting misty. Anyway, folks. If you're desperately looking for a copy of WWE 2K17 and you can't find it where you are, this is the next best thing. Ami and Torch. And this has clearly been what you idiots missed. Title pending.